All right, good morning traders. Today is April 12, 2024. Thank you for being here. My SPY pivot this morning, 515.75. Above it, I'm a bull, below it, I'm a bear. SPY made. Still in a downtrend, made a lower low and a higher high, closing above the bearish trap and above the flat 17 EMA. Diamond Dow, also in a downtrend, made a lower low and a higher high, closing below the bearish trap, below the falling 17 EMA. IWM, also in a downtrend. So we got SPY, Diamond Dow, and IWM, all in downtrends. Made a low, IWM made a lower low and a higher high, closing below the bearish trap, below the falling 17 EMA. QQQ and FNGU still in uptrends, made higher highs and higher lows, closing above the trap, above the 17 EMA. Gold made a new all-time high yesterday, while silver made a higher high and a higher low, closing over the trap and the 17 EMA. USO also still in an uptrend, made an inside day, closing inside the bullish trap, above the rising 17 EMA. UNG started a new downtrend, making a lower low and a lower high, closing under the trap and the flat 17 EMA. US dollar index, still in an uptrend, closed the day around the 105.20 area. All right, let's go take a look at some charts. <coughs> SPY for yesterday, okay, we got a 1208, 1209, so we got a lower low and a higher high, so we got an outside day closing over the bearish trap, over the flat 17 EMA, so kind of moving from one anchored VWAP up to the other one all in one day. All right, so uh, it's in a downtrend because we made lower highs and lower lows. So there's SPY. Let's take a look at IWM. Okay, also in a downtrend, made lower highs and lower lows. So it's in a downtrend, plus we took out this low. All right, yesterday's candle, got a lower high on a higher low, inside day, closing under the trap, under the 17 EMA, so IWM in a downtrend. Diamond Dow, okay, yesterday we got obviously a lower low. The high is 86.08, the high is 85, so uh, higher high, lower low, closing under the trap, under the falling 17 EMA. Okay, so here's price action here. Diamond Dow closing under the trap, under the 17 EMA. Okay, also in a downtrend. QQQ, all right, QQQ still in an uptrend. Made a higher low, higher high, closing over the trap, over the flat 17 EMA. FNGU, same thing. Higher low, higher high, closing over the trap, over the flat 17 EMA. Technicals for yesterday. All right. This is what we had. We had, uh, we were in the oversold zone. We popped up into the seller sell zone, a chop zone. And then we uh, came back down right through the sell zone, back into the oversold zone, made uh, a higher low, and then just continued to grind up all day long. All right with higher lows and higher highs. So there's T2122, 2021-23. You can see we came down and then uh, moved up. So kind of in a bear flag right now, down and over to the right, T2123. So first part of the day was selling and then back to VWAP and trying to recover. T2123, three bar. Price action, uh, you can see here, price, is back underneath the 
prior all-time high right there. This is the prior all-time high. You can see price action dipping below that. We'll see if they can recover that this week or maybe next week. All right, so this we had CPI on the 10th. So you can see we've now turned red on T2123 3-bar. FNGU for yesterday. Started out green, ended green, so strong day, all day for FNGU. Finally getting over that flat 200 or falling 200 SMA right there. That's FNGU on the 15-minute chart. All right, let's go back and take a look at, uh, okay, let's go look at gold, precious metals. So here's gold putting in a new all-time high yesterday, higher low, higher high, closing over the bullish trap, over the rising 17 EMA, new all-time high for gold. Silver, silver almost got the new all-time high, missed it by a couple pennies. All right, so higher low, higher high, uh, lower high, closing underneath, closing over the bullish trap, over the rising 17 EMA, silver in an uptrend. All right, let's take a look at USO, also in an uptrend. USO yesterday made an inside day with a lower high and a higher low, closing inside that bullish trap over the rising 17 EMA. UNG was in an uptrend, and it was looking really pretty here, like we were going to go. And then we came back yesterday with a lower high and a lower low, closing below. Actually, we made the bearish cross right here with the three crosses underneath the eight. So we made the bearish cross, lower high, lower low, closing underneath the prior low, puts it in a downtrend. We were in an uptrend, and one day we went to a downtrend. So back into a downtrend for UNG uh, with a lower low, lower high, closing underneath the bearish cross, underneath the flat 17 EMA. Let's take a look at our dollar index. All right, so here's the dollar index. This was yesterday's candle right here. We closed right about the 105.20 area, right about there. Today we're getting a, another big rip. Looks like we're going up here to challenge these highs, at least this uh, breakdown candle high up here. So U.S. dollar still in an uptrend, not good for our markets. Okay, that would be because uh, it makes our goods and services uh, more expensive when they have to convert, uh, foreign countries convert their currency over to ours in order to pay us for our goods and services. So what happens is, is uh, it makes us less competitive against other nations when it comes to GDP. So not good. Uh, it could cause a downturn in the market. Uh, as you can see right now, uh, U.S. dollar still in an uptrend and spiking higher today. All right. For Max Payne, for the 12th today is 517 for the SPY. Not sure where SPY's at now. We take a peek here. Is SPY currently at 515? So uh, we already just passed through 517. So they might be going lower. We'll see what happens. On the economic calendar for today, what do we have? Import export prices 830, consumer sentiment at 10, and that's it for the day. And for the earnings calendar, we have some big banks doing earnings this morning. All right, we've got JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Progressive, BlackRock, Citigroup, State Street. All right, so all the big, some of the big banks are going to be reporting this morning. Uh, could be why we're seeing some of the pullback uh, combined with the dollar spiking. And that's it for me this morning, all right? I'll take questions in the room. Alan, thanks for sharing that data. Um, 
I want to say thank you to everybody out there in video land. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate uh, uh, all the kind comments. Again, everybody have uh, a wonderful uh, day today. I'll see you all at 4 p.m. Not really 100%. I'll be here all day, but uh, it's not 100% uh, not for me today. So I'll take questions in the room, and uh, everybody in video land, I'll see you guys about 4.